So a forest is currently home to a population of 200 rabbits. The forest is estimated to be able to hold to sustain a population of 2,000 rabbits. And absent any restrictions, the rabbits would grow by 50% per year. We want to predict the future populations using the logistic growth model. So the logistic growth model, remember, looks like this. Oops, n minus 1 there, times pn minus 1. And uh, where k is the carrying capacity and r is sort of the natural growth rate or the growth rate uh, absent interaction. Now, unfortunately, there is no explicit model for uh, logistic growth uh, or discrete logistic growth, I should say, this type of logistic growth where the population only grows at the end of each, uh, each year. And so we're going to have to work with uh, this recursive equation here uh, to, to answer this question. So let's just go ahead and predict out the population uh, a couple or few years. So uh, p0, we can see, well actually, we need to break this down a little further, don't we? Uh, we still need to figure out values. So we know that p0 is 200 because that is our current population and in general, Let's see here, what's our value for r? Our natural growth rate is 50%, so that'd be 0.5. 1 minus pn minus 1 over our carrying capacity. Our carrying capacity in this case is 2,000. That's the maximum sustainable population uh, times pn minus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out what is going to be the population after one year. So after one year, we're going to have our previous population plus 50% times 1 minus p0 over 2,000 times p0. We already know p0 is 200, so we'll go ahead and stick in 200 here. Uh, nope, this should be 200 because it's our p0. And now we can evaluate this. Now, so notice what happens here. We got 1 minus 200 over 2,000. 200 over 2,000 is 10% or 0.1. 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9. And so this is not decreasing the growth very much. Uh, so if we go ahead and calculate all that out, we end up with a population of 290 after one year. So for the next year, we would do p1 plus 0.5 times 1 minus p1 over 2,000 times p1, or in other words, 290 plus 0.5 times 1 minus 290 over 2,000 times p, t I'm sorry, same thing, this is 290 now. Uh, now in this case, we got a larger starting amount, and so we would expect a larger growth because of our percentage growth rate. But on the other hand, we have a smaller value here because this is going to decrease more, uh, this is going to be a smaller number, closer to zero. Uh, anyways, this comes out to about 414. Uh, after, uh, for the end of the second year. And if we were to continue calculating out these values, we would end up with, uh, again, we'd have to do this one at a time, we would end up with a whole set of values. Um, it turns out that if you were to graph these, that the values start out increasing almost exponentially at first. So you definitely see that upwards trend, upwards curve of an exponential growth model. But then as we start getting larger and larger, this restricting factor ends up restricting the amount of growth and the growth actually ends up decreasing as we approach that carrying capacity of 2,000. So this population is going to increase sort of quickly at first uh, and then it's going to level off and uh, approach that carrying capacity of 2,000.